first guest is an Oscar-nominated actor who stars in the new movie Mainstream, which is available digitally and in select theaters this Friday. Please welcome Andrew Garfield. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, oh my goodness. Ah, I miss you, buddy. I, I miss you. I love you. I'm, I'm so hugging you. Tariq is the greatest rapper alive. Happy Teacher Appreciation Day. I mean, I. You summed it all up right there. We have uh, all amazing teachers here. Uh, while we're speaking of that, do you have a teacher you'd like to give a shout out to? Yes, Mr. Tong, Mr. Philip Tong. I would not be anywhere without his brilliant drama teaching when I needed guidance in my life because my previous drama teacher had thrown a chair at my head um, and that was the extent of my relationship with him. Wow, um, <laughs> wow that's, that's crazy. In, in dramas, that's a lot of drama. That's a lot of, I brought, I brought the drama. You really did? Um, no, <laughs> no, like, so this, so M Mr. Tong, he came into my life when I was really kind of lost as a 15, 16 year old, didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. And um, I, I kind of give it up on everything. It was kind of like the Truman Show where you feel like there's something else out there for you, but you don't, you're, you haven't got the courage to get on the boat and go through the kind of, the kind of cardboard sky at the back of the, the lot. And, uh, and Mr. Tong came around and he arrived at our school and he saw me do a, a school play. And it was like a moment of mentorship, which we all need at some point in our lives to put us on um, our path, our kind of deepest path, I think. And, and he, he had the generosity and the foolishness to come up to me and say, hey, I think you have talent in this and I'd like you to study with me next year. And then he introduced me to theater and he introduced me to the arts and it was like I finally was Jim Carrey walking through that that door in wow. the sky, and I, I I entered my life. And so, Mr. Philip Tong, in Surrey, you changed my life. And to all the teachers who are devoted teachers, oh, I just bow. I bow deeply <laughs> out of camera yeah. to you. <laughs> I love that. Uh, uh. Obviously, we, this past year, everyone was just like, oh my gosh, what teachers do, uh, it's just above and beyond. You go like, wait, we have to just appreciate them every single day. Uh, uh, but also the, the, the frontline workers as well and people that are out there uh, just yeah. ma making everyone, everything happen. I know your brother, uh, you'd like to give a shout out to, who's a doctor. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ben, Benjamin Garfield, he'll be very upset that I'm mentioning his name. Uh, he's, <laughs> That's what he's, brothers are know, for. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But he's also, you know, he kind of exemplifies what it is to be, uh, you know, to be of service to people. He's, he's, an ama he's a lung doctor. He's a pulmonary specialist. So he's been on the front lines of this and, you know, moving ventilators, deciding where vent it's just been, it's, you know, been the most intense <sighs> thing in the world for him. But he's the guy that you want there. He's the guy like, like most frontline workers that I'm, I know, they're the people that spend you know, three hours too long at work because they, they're just so devoted. And, you know, I, I've, I've, I've seen him in such a new light this year. I always knew he was heroic, but he doesn't try to be heroic. And that's the difference. He just, he's called to what he does. He just wants to help people and heal people. So I love you, Ben, and everyone that you work with at the Brompton Hospital. Thank you for everything you've done this year. And ben, uh, ben Garfield. Again. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> He'll get a kick. He'll get a kick out of you, you mentioning his name, man. That's <laughs> awesome. That's, that's awesome. Uh, I know you just wrapped uh, a movie with our friend Lin-Manuel Miranda. Uh, yes. Tick, Tick, Boom. Uh, and and Lin, this is his directorial debut. Yeah. Uh, how, how was he? Was he, was he nervous? Dude. Was he excited? Was he... You know, Lin, he's, he's like this exactly. crazy mixture of the most precocious eight-year-old, like, genius <laughs> student of life, yeah. like, that won't stop talking and that has a reference for everything. And, and, and simultaneously, he's maybe one of the ultimate creative geniuses of our time. It's this weird combination of, like, having, like, the most precocious eight-year-old around, like, kind of, like, 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 running around your ankles while also having written Hamilton. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, he's a genius. But, like, but he also yeah, has like, like every deep, moment. deep cuts and like he'll, he'll make a reference and we're like, wait, did you just say that? Like that's... <laughs> yeah, like at the Oscars when he, um, he made a reference to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme song. <laughs> and I was like, like no, one, no one's going to understand this maybe. But so I texted, I was like, whoa, you just referenced TMNT theme song. And he was like, I know who the true nerds are in my phone book because it was you and one other person that's just texted me this. <laughs> Um, no, I love him, man. I love him. Like, to get to work with him on this was just, 
Oh man, it was a privilege, and I got to work with Tariq for a, for a day or two. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but um, I just said it. And yeah. I got to witness the genius in the flesh. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty amazing. Uh, well, uh, I want to talk about your new uh, film, Mainstream. Uh, uh, this is a, a very interesting uh, uh, idea for a film, and this is from is it Gia, Gia Coppola? Yeah, Gia Coppola. She's um, she she's made one movie previously called Palo Alto, which you should check out, and. She's oh, just yeah. a really sensitive, tender artist. And Nat Wolf, who's also in our movie, was in that movie, just amazing actor. And we have Maya Hawke in this movie and uh, Johnny Knoxville and um, a bunch of social media influencers and some pretty wild stuff. So, yeah, we've, we, and we've, we've all been friends for a while. So it was kind of like this experimental family kind of fun hang that we were and we happened to be shooting. You play a YouTube vlogger in the film, and there's one scene where you, your character, has to streak down the street in daytime, in, day, in broad daylight, and you shot this really in front of strangers. What goes through your head? And here's what would go through my head. Can Andrew Garfield do this scene for me? <laughs> because I can't. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, do you go, I'm just going to, I'm an actor, I'm going to go for it and just, yeah, and just run? Dude, I don't, I don't know, man. It's like... Life's short. If, if this year has taught us anything, it's that life is short. And if I get an opportunity to streak down Hollywood Boulevard without getting arrested, I'm going to take it. <laughs> it's, it's kind of that simple.